Hey guys, welcome back to Lisa Lene's kitchen to crock pot chicken and dumplings. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a good old like, and don't forget to comment below other recipes you would like to see me cook. So this recipe is really great for on the go. So let's just get started with it. I already prepared all my ingredients the night before so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have I cut up some celery onions and carrots I have some chicken broth a thing of butter milk southern style Pillsbury biscuits and two cans of cream of chicken and then I have two chicken breasts Slice in the middle, so cut into four. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make this beautiful, delicious, simple, on-the-go recipe. Throw everything in my crock pot, turn it on high for about five to six hours, go to work, run some errands, mom life, and then come home, dinner's ready for the family. So the first step I'm gonna take is spraying my crock pot because I don't use the baggy liners because I never get around to buying them and I always forget, with some butter and then I'm going to add in the chicken first. So after buttering, then we add our chicken. The next step we are going to add in are onions, celery, and carrots. Just throw it right on top guys. Now we're going to add in our Campbell's cream of chicken, two cans. The last step for now will be chicken broth you just want to fill it up until everything's a little bit covered so i would say about half of a 48 48 ounce chicken broth So now that we have added our chicken broth, we are going to go ahead, cover up the pot, put it on high for about five to six hours, 30, 30 minutes before the chicken and dumplings is done. We're gonna go ahead and add in our biscuits for the last 30 minutes. All right guys, so it's been five and a half hours. I'm going to now take the lid off, pull the chicken apart, and then add the biscuits into the crock pot. So you just wanna shred the chicken, so I'm just gonna pull it apart. So once when you have your chicken all pulled apart, you want to go ahead and add your biscuits. So all you're going to do is just pull the biscuits apart and plop it in and mix it all together. And if you're wondering, the reason why I didn't add a whole lot of seasoning is because the chicken broth and onions have so much seasoning in it and salt that it really doesn't need a whole lot of extra stuff. Okay? And now you just wanted to give a good stir, put the lid back on for another 30 to 40 minutes. Dad, dad. 
All right, guys, so now that the biscuits have been in there for about 30 to 40 minutes, we're gonna take it off, scoop it on a plate, and give it a good try. Delicious, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you try out this crock pot recipe of chicken and dumplings. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below and give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys on my next video with Lisa Lene's Kitchen.